Hey guys, what's up? A few of you had asked me to make a series where I just kind of like casually drive on GTA uh, and t talk. And I knew today would be just a perfect opportunity for that because I got trolled by my cat. So I'm going to tell you this story. I got a, it's like a day bed, but it's um, patio furniture and it's like separated into sections. But we got that delivered and we were unboxing it and just setting it up on our like deck, our, on our deck. And so we had the back door open, the, the door to our deck open. And my cat likes to try and get out there sometimes, like if we accidentally have it open, if we're just standing on the deck. Um, our cat Nam likes to just go outside and try to escape. It's not that she's trying to leave us, she just wants to explore the world and see if there's food out there and all that good stuff. You know how cats do. She's trying to get to her roots, you know, just explore the wilderness and be a wild cat beast, that kind of thing. So we were going in and out of the garage unboxing this pretty big furniture and I was keeping an eye on the cats. Like I wanted to make sure they didn't get out and whatever. I, I was watching them but I was also unpacking this furniture so there were times where yeah I could have like let the cat get out but I was keeping an eye on the yard and the outside areas and uh, I didn't see the cat at all. So later, after I put together the uh, new deck furniture, which is awesome, by the way, it's like a day bed. I'm just gonna like go out there tonight and just, just, just lay down and enjoy the scenery and the wind and the uh, outside area. Because when you're cooped up in an office all day, it's like getting outside is really, really nice. Like going for a walk, skateboarding. Um, rollerblading, anything like that is nice. I guess I'll just be laying down and being lazy outside in this instance, but it's still nice to get fresh air. So, you know, I've set up the deck. Oh my god. I've set up the deck and now I go inside, you know, I'm telling my boyfriend, oh, I'm so excited. And god, this is total I, I'm looking for the cats because I want to make sure they definitely didn't get out. So, Right away, I'm checking for the cats, and I see Black Kitty, and Black Kitty is fine. She's there like, will you please feed me? So I'm like, all right, I'll feed the cats now, um, and maybe Nam will come out, because Nam, how can I describe my cat Nam? She's named Nam, all right? And you, you don't know what Nam is. It's like, um, nom, 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 like Cookie Monster type sounds when it comes to eating. The girl uh, cat is a fatty. Like, I have never met a cat that depends on eating so much. She's a little chubby. She's not like a super morbidly obese cat or anything like that, but she is a chubby cat and she lives to eat. I mean, she's constantly asking me for food or annoying me so that I will feed her. And even in the instances when I am feeding them, she's asking for more food. Like I could just take a bowl out and fill it with cat food and she'll just look at me like mm, are you gonna give me more and she'll go right to the cabinet where we keep the cat food in and start meowing at it like yeah i know you gave me food but mm, i'd like some more like she's constantly thinking about her next meal as she's eating her current one all right and i know how that is because i'm you know i'm a fatty too but this cat just like brings the whole fatness to a whole new level. And <laughs> I just want you guys to know that like the cat lives for food. So that's important to know. So I open up a can of like wet cat food and I, if you have a cat, you know, like dry cat food, they're like, all right with it. But wet cat food, oh my God, like cats, they go nuts over that crap. Like they're putting crack in wet cat food or something, cat crack. I don't know. Cats go nuts over it. So, so I open a can of wet cat food and Black Kitty is there. I feed her. And then I get another can. I open that and I'm like, where is Nam? And instantly I'm like, oh my God, she escaped. She definitely got out. She must be in the yard somewhere. 
So, you know, I'm calling her name, which doesn't really work with cats. They don't usually come. Um, but my cats do. My cats, as long as someone's in the kitchen or making any sort of noise in the kitchen, they are there. They're like, wait, are we about to get fed? Especially Nam. Like, that's why I made it a point to tell you how much she really loves eating is because I can't even, like, go to the kitchen without the cat harassing me. Like... As soon as I even get near the kitchen, she's like running full speed ahead from wherever she was and is trying to get food. Um, was this person driving like crazy? Wow. <laughs> so yeah, no Nam. Nam is nowhere to be found. So I'm like, oh, she got in the yard. I just know it. And so Alex is around and so we both go in the yard and we're looking for the cat and we don't see her at all in the yard like at all and then we go inside and we look on the first floor you know we have cat food we're calling her whatever she's not coming oh what uh and so alex is like all right i'll go outside and, and walk around there's like this pond behind our house he he decided to walk around um that pond it's it's like big enough i, I don't i don't know it's like a quarter of a mile around maybe and maybe a little less than that. I'm not sure. But it's a decent size. So he goes to walk around the pond area in our backyard. And I just, you know, continue looking throughout the house. Upstairs, downstairs. I have the cat food in my hand. So I know, like, knowing my cat as I do, I know there's never any reason that she's not gonna wanna eat. So, I mean, I'm getting no response from anywhere and I'm looking all over, I'm looking under beds, I'm looking in her favorite little cat spots that she likes to sleep in or chill in. And no, 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 no. Nah. And Black Kitty is like owning this. She's like, just, you know, run, like not running throughout the house, but like casually strolling like a badass throughout our house. And that's not, that's not normal. She doesn't do that unless Nam is like missing in action so I knew like I knew something was up so I wait for Alex to get back and I'm like okay let's let's drive around and at this point I'm crying my eyes out because I think I've like lost the cat because I was so excited about my furniture that I wasn't keeping a good enough eye on the door and the cats and I'm like just crying my eyes out because I think I've like lost her forever and I'm never gonna see her again and I'm like a horrible cat parent and that's like all these things that are like racing through my head. So we, you know, slowly drive through our neighborhood all around and we're looking for Nam and we're just, we're not finding her. And I've left food outside our house, you know, in case she was still in our yard somehow. But I mean, we really looked, we looked under the deck, we looked everywhere she possibly could have been. So we're, just, you know, going through the neighborhood and I'm crying my eyes out. And Alex is a good boyfriend because he was, you know, he was like holding my hand like, it'll be okay, we'll find her. And yeah, so I was just crying a lot. And then we got home and from looking for her around the neighborhood and I look outside again, no numb. I see Black Kitty still like strolling all around and I just can't find her. I look in our garage, too, because I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe she's in the garage. We didn't look there, but she was not in our garage. Um, and I put, like, a can of food out there just in case. And <laughs> oh, this is where the story really just takes a turn. So I'm just crying through the house, checking everywhere again. And I see Black Kitty looking at me like, she's looking at me a little weird, like, hmm. And I see Black Kitty, she keeps looking at me. So I look at her like, do you know where Nam is? And so Black Kitty goes upstairs, all right? And then I let her go upstairs for a bit because I'm still checking some of the areas um, on our mid floor. And uh, there's a lot of little events going on, wow. Oh, geez, that turn really came up. So I was reading the text. So I finally go upstairs. And there's Nam and Black Kitty looking at me, and I'm crying because, like, I'm, you know, I'm just been crying the entire time, like, bawling my eyes out. And Nam's like, What the fuck is this bitch's problem? Like, why is she crying? Look at her. 
And the cats are just looking at me like they pulled one over my head. Like, <laughs> what? I'm so and then I cried even more and like grabbed Nam and hugged her. And like her face was just like, what are you doing? Can you not? And <laughs> I was just so happy. And then like, of course, like as I told you, Nam's obsessed with food. All of a sudden, she starts smelling all this food, and like, she's trying to get out of my arms. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, food, 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 there is food everywhere. And I'm just like, where was she earlier? Like, maybe she didn't feel well or something. She definitely wasn't sleeping. Maybe the furniture scared her. I don't know. But that was so unlike my cat, and so I thought I had really lost her. And I was so sad. And I wish, like, I should have... I wish I had had my phone on me when I finally found her so I could show you her face she gave me when she saw me, like, crying. But seriously, like, ugh. I was, like, it was, like, a mix of, like, Arr! and then, like, really a lot of happiness because I had found her. But, man, it was horrible. Like, I guess you can't expect your cat to be, like, a major fatty every second of the day but she really is like all the time this has never happened before where she never ever came to food like she has gotten outside before or gotten in our garage and like not wanted to come out and been like hey, hey you can't catch me but as soon as we grabbed food like boom she was in she was like oh i am so there you got wet cat food i got a mouth let's do this and <laughs> she didn't do that this time like at all and I really explored the house and I put cat food everywhere and the fact that she just looked at me like I was stupid when I finally found her just drove me nuts. And I think Black Kitty was in on it because when I, when I first saw them upstairs, when I had first, you know, seen Nam was okay, Black, her and Black Kitty were just look, like sitting there looking at each other and looking at me and I swear, like, if cats could laugh, they were laughing in my face. And it was horrible. Cause it's a horrible feeling to think you've lost a pet. That's terrible. Fa like, pets are like family members, all right? Like, you can't just lose one and be like, meh, whatever. You can't just do that. It's it's not possible, especially if you really love your animals. And I love my animals, but man, what the heck? And I, the cats hadn't even been fed yet. Like it was earlier in the day. And in the morning, they're not cases. Like, they will harass the crap out of you. They'll meow. They'll, like, hit at you with their paws. I mean, they're a really pain in the asses. Like, they do not. I mean, think about it. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I was hungry as a kid, man, like, I was, like, harassing my mom. Like, oh, my God, oh, my God, will you make me food? Hey, you, food, please. Like, it's like that with cats, only, like, 50 times worse than any human child. Because cats, cats are users. Like they're love, like they're lovey and cuddleable. Um, but I, I really think they only do it for warmth and so that you'll love them enough to feed them, because they're users. But <sighs> I'm just, I was so happy when I saw her and I was squeezing her and hugging her and crying on her, and Alex was really happy and it was just, I guess it was a learning experience. Um, I'm just happy my cat is okay. Do any of you guys have silly animal stories like that with your pets? I always like reading stories, so please share them in the comment section below. Other than that, I think that's pretty much all I had to say through this video. Um, I know it's a lot different than my other content. I just, well, it's, it's a little bit more like my old content. I used to tell a lot of stories, but I feel like I've talked about pretty much everything at this point. Um... And, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And I had things to do for work, and the cat interrupted that. But I finally got to those, and I did those before this video. So I did get my work done, which was cool. Uh, this video is a little later, I guess, than I would have liked to have posted. Oh, my God! It's like one of those, it's like one of those horrible car accident commercials for car insurance. Like, I don't even know. Like... Allstate is there for you and then they're like driving down the road and then all of a sudden they like turn and then there's a car in the screen and it like makes you jump because it's a jump scare 
<sighs> wow. I hope you guys are all doing fine. I hope all your pets are okay. And if I know a few of you, like, I always get messages sometimes that are like, your videos have helped me get through the loss of a pet and you've made me smile. So if any of you are dealing with that, I hope you feel better and, and time will make things better. Um, what, was there a person like... I think I just saw something. Yeah, I think I just saw something. So I'm probably gonna <laughs> stop the video because I think I went a little crazy and saw a per I saw a person like spread on the bridge uh, fence and I don't think that actually happened or was there. So yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap and like I said, hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.